Hello friends, welcome to Insight Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. In today's video, we are going to learn about the electrical operation of isolator. Isolator are the equipment that are observed in the substation in the switchyard. So what is isolator? The symbol of isolator is like this. An isolator is basically a simple plug in our house. And as we remove the plug of any device, it gets isolated from the power supply. So similarly, isolators are used to isolate the part, that part of the system, which has zero voltage. Okay. So this is how isolators generally look like. Based on different voltage classes, the size of the isolator will differ. Isolator are basically gang operated isolator. That means all the three phases of the isolator will be operated simultaneously. So you can see over here, this is R phase, Y phase and B phase. Gang operation means all three operations, all the three phases will be operated together. Then we have individual operated isolators in which each phase will be operated separately. Isolators are generally operated manually with handle in the switchyard itself and another way to operate the isolator is automatically motor, motorized isolator. So motorized isolator will have the mechanism in this box over here. Okay, and they can also be further operated in two ways, local operation that is electrical operation, automatic operation, but that is operated locally from the switchyard from this box itself. Okay, and then there is a remote operation that can be done from the control room. There is no need to go to this box in the switchyard from control room itself, remote operation of the isolator can be carried out. So this is the main control box of the isolator. Okay. And over here you can see the control panel. So it is consisting of all these push buttons. Then there is power switch that is on and off switch. Then DC control, DC on and off switch and selector switch that is how you want to operate this isolator either in remote mode, local mode. Okay. Then uh, there is this fuse circuit for DC control. Then for the AC motor, this switch is provided and also this fuse are provided for AC supply fuse. AC that is auxiliary. Okay, you can see this LEDs and also this lamp or heater that are placed inside this isolator box. And also you can give some auxiliary supply through this plug over here. So for that AC supply fuse is provided. Inside this control box, there is a mechanism that consists of a motor and a gear mechanism. This gear mechanism basically converts the rotating force of through this motor into vertical motion. And that is useful for opening or closing operation of the isolator. So this is the control panel as we discussed earlier. It is having this LEDs also and as I discussed this power switch, DC control switch, okay and selector switch. So this is the basic wiring for the electrical operation. Uh, it is divided into two parts. This part over here indicates the AC supply power supply circuit for the motor. You can see over here R, Y and B phase. Okay, whenever this switch will be on, this power will be coming to the motor. It is coming to the motor through this contactor switch and how this contactor switch is operated. This is operated using this circuit DC circuit over here and supply for this DC circuit is 110 volts. So we will be discussing in detail about this power circuit okay, and how these contactors are operated using this DC circuit. So now talking about the power circuit, as we discussed it is having three phase and a neutral. So RYB phase and S1 is the switch connecting the power supply. Okay, So this is the switch. When you turn on this switch will be closed. 
then there is a dc control fuse provision over here after which there will be led glowing so you can see over here and after this the contactor comes into picture cc and oc cc is for closed contactor and oc is for open contactor after this the power supply will be reaching to this motor through this overload relay now uh, let us see how this power reaches over here uh, yeah so motor and the relay so when this is switched on through the fuse from led contactors will be closed now oc means open contactor so this open contactor whenever this open contactors are closed the motor will be moving in such a direction that the isolators will be open and when cc contactor is closed that is closed contactor then due to interchange in the phase you can see over here the phase are changed the motor will be now rotating in the reverse direction in such a way that the isolators will be closed so you can see the reverse direction over here so this is the entire power circuit now we will understand in detail how the operation of this contactor occurs so now let us understand the control circuit uh, how this contactors are operated so for this contactor the circuit starts with k1 and k2 between k1 and k2 we will have 110 volts dc now we will look at the isolator control panel so inside the control panel we have this dc control switch okay so dc control switch if we turn this switch on the power will next move towards the fuse so we have dc control fuse over here after the dc control fuse you can see over here there is tb428 if we open this control panel inside this control box if we open this control panel inside the control you box you can see there is a provision for tb228 the provision is see on the other side no wiring is done so over here there is a provision to do wiring for interlocks interlocks for such type for example if the circuit breaker is on you have you can provide that if the circuit breaker is on then you cannot operate this isolator electrically or if the earth switch is provided in that case also you cannot operate this isolator so that kind of interlock wiring can be done from this tb 4 to 8 okay so over here next after that you can see over here is this contact of overload overload relay in on the back side of the control panel door you can see this two contractors oc and cc below this there is this overload relay in the overload relay you can see besides this there is this nc contact of this overload relay only if this overload relay is not picked up in that case the operation of isolator is possible okay so be, so that kind of provision is there if overload relay is picked up then electrical operation will not be possible if overload relay is not picked up then the electrical operation will be moving forward so dc will move forward after that there is this push button this push button is this e stop that is emergency stop push button so if you are carrying out any kind of operation of the isolator and if there is any kind of emergency and you need to suddenly stop the operation so you can use this e stop push button once this push button is operated this dc will be disconnected circuit will be disconnected at this point and dc will not go forward so there is a provision for emergency stop push button after that there is this interlock circuit so interlock switch is provided like this 
you have to insert a key inside this switch for manual operation but you cannot insert the key directly in order to insert the key inside this uh, this switch interlock switch you will have to first press this push button that is i l release so if we see on the back side of this switch you can see this coil and plunger arrangement so you can see whenever you pull, press this push button pb3 that is il release push button this in that case this coil gets energized once this coil gets energized this contact gets short okay and with the plunger movement you you will be possible to enter the key over here in this switch it will be possible to enter the key in this switch so if you press this il yellow push button coil gets energized contact gets short this contact gets short and you will be able to insert the key inside this switch now in order to press this and insert the key inside on the selector switch you will have to select this il release so if the selector switch is at point number 3 in that case only you will be able to press this push button and apply this key now the, the working of the selector switch is explained in our another video link is provided on the description box you can check the video how the selector switch is operated so for now you will understand that if one is selected then the contacts of one will be closed and we will be able to do the remote operation if the two selector switch is pointing at two that is for local operation that we are performing right now okay so we have to select two and the contacts of two will be closed and as i explained if we want to do this il release thing interlock release thing then three has to be selected once the key is inserted inside this we will be able to do this local electrical operation how the local electrical operation is done local electrical operation is done using these two push buttons close and open see you can see over here pb1 and pb2 these are the two push buttons that are used for closing and opening of the isolator electrically so if you want to close the isolator electrically then we will press pb1 that is close close push button is pressed you can see now dc has moved to this cc contact okay and another contact over here is the oc contact one of the contacts from oc contactor why because only if this is closed and in case the isolator you have to check if the isolator is open or not okay so this nc contact over here is provided of oc contractor open contractor and opposite to this if you want to open the isolator okay then the cc contact of i cc contact of nc contact of cc contractor is provided over here okay now the power moves to ls1 what is this ls1 let us see that over here this cc and oc contactor one 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 nc contact of each is provided over here as we discussed see you can see that and over here once the motor starts rotating if you are supposed to close the isolator the motor will start rotating once the isolator is completely closed there are two switches provided over here as you can see this switch are the indication whether the isolator is completely closed or not if it is completely closed then this switch will be pressed okay and it will indicate that the isolator is completely closed and it will come to ls1 and once the switch is released this contactor will be open and the motor will now stop rotating similarly if you want to open this isolator if you are pressing this open push button then nc contact of close contactor will be operated right it will get closed 
and what will happen is this ls2 this ls2 will switch will be closed okay but once the isolator is completely open this will be released this contactor will be released okay and what will happen the motor will stop rotating because now the isolator is completely open so this is how the local operation electrically occurs using this two push buttons and using this no and nc contacts of oc and cc another provision that is done over here is you can see over here the negative is all positive is already reaching over here and two leds are connected for op open operation and close operation so why this two leds what this indicates this two led indicates that the isolator is on red will indicate the isolator is on that is it is closed and green will indicate the isolator is open so two contacts from uh, oc and cc relays are also provided over here right so this is the basic operation of cc and oc how the contacts are operated how dc supply is reaching to this contactor right and how the electrical operation of isolator is done locally next is this as i discuss this two contacts these are cm cm2 and om2 contacts cm2 and om2 contacts auxiliary switch contacts are used over here for this led these contacts are also very much important when you are taking the status of the isolator for any other purpose say for semaphore indication again this two auxiliary contacts will be used if you are taking bus bar protection that is dependent on the position of the isolator whether it is open or closed in that case also this auxiliary contacts play a major role cm2 and om2 contacts so friends this is all about electrical operation of isolator in today's video in the next video we will see how this actual operation occurs how the leds glow how the contacts get closed and how actually the isolator is open or closed okay so let us know in the comments how if you have any doubts and also what you want to learn more keep watching video thank you